Planet Earth in the, in the Northern Hemisphere um, in the country of America in which there's a state called New York. The largest city in that state is New York City. We are roughly in the middle of that city. Uh, the city's divided up into grids, uh, a grid system, numbered streets. We're on about 66th Street. So we're at Barnes & Noble today for a little uh, CD signing event with some performances and um, Galt and Jim are going to be speaking about the show. It's wonderful to be able to do something and have people respond to it. You know, from being an, an artist for, gosh, since I graduated college, I've been a, like doing theater and professional singing and stuff like that. And, and to have a piece of art that like people want to inconvenience themselves to go see is really awesome. I'm very appreciative that people actually want my autograph on a CD. So no, it never gets old. And um, I just hope that we can bring some of our family from the actual theater and, and bring that vibe here and they can, you know, feel the hippie infusion and then maybe come come to our theater and see the show. Gavin hurt his ankle yesterday during the show, so I had to go on for him during intermission, um, the first show, and then did the show last night. So, so now I'm filling in for him again. Um, he wishes he could be here, but he has a giant moon boot on right now. Where do I go? Follow the children. Where do I go? Follow their smiles. Is there an answer in their sweet faces that tells me why I live and die? Follow the wind song, follow the thunder, follow the neon in young lovers' eyes. This one's cool because uh, Galt's actually playing with us, and, and Vince, who's also in our, in our band, is, his son is playing with us. And, uh, you know, Galt sort of makes things a little funkier and, you know, because he's had the music and his, you know, it's from his brain. When he plays it, he'll play with his right hand or his left hand what in his mind is the most important piece of the melody. And that changes just slightly the, uh, the way that I feel the rhythm or that I feel the, the singing. When they come out to see it, first of all, they bring all their memorabilia especially the older fans, have stuff. A uh, guy just stopped me. He had the original off-Broadway cast album, the Broadway cast album, the London cast album, the Australian cast album, the original script, and all this stuff that I've never seen before. So it's, it's fascinating. You know, it's unusual to get to do this for the public out of context, out of costume, out of the theater. So, um, and it's a fun chance to meet people that really love the show and really dig the history of the show, um, who would make a point to come out and, and hear Galt and Jim speak about, you know, writing this piece. It's great to hear their stories because they're, they're, you know, they've seen a hundred thousand productions of this thing. And Jim Rado's such a crazy hippie, you never know which neurons are going to be firing in his head and which story he's going to remember from some crazy moment of the, the uh, beginnings of the show the creation of the show and you think you made that up but now he lived it all he, he's crazy harmony and understanding sympathy and trust abounding no more falsehood or derision cold in living dreams of vision mystic crystal revelation and the mind true liberation It's one of the most complete versions of the show um, with all of the music, all of the transitions and things like that that aren't included in most of the cast albums. So it's one of the most complete versions of the show. It's amazing how many, uh, like I can't think of any other Broadway musical that has so many pop songs that came out of it. Um, there's so many, and I mean the songs in the show are so great, and there's so many songs in the show. <laughs> We've heard from a lot of the fans that it takes them right back to when they saw it. So. People are loving it. We love doing it. Um, it's kind of a huge thrill to be on a cast recording for most of us. It's our first time, so it's, it's really cool. It's super well produced and performed, and uh, if you came to the show and you dug the experience, then it's the only way you can have it in your car. Come see hair and come get our CD, please. 